I'm outside the Urban Cuts Barbershop on the city's west side, Pearl Road, where they just don't cut your hair. They cut down on a man's chances of having a stroke or heart disease by offering medical checkups. Let's go inside. I'm with uh, Waverly Willis, the owner of uh, Urban Cuts. Uh, Shaw High grad, you know I had to say that. Absolutely. Had to no say pardon. Shaw High. Talk about your establishment, man. How long have you been in business? Uh, well, I've been in business at this location for five years mm -hmm. now, and I opened up my first location 10 years ago on the corner of 111 and <laughs> Detroit Avenue. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been very fortunate. The city of Cleveland has definitely rallied around me. And I, I know that it's not just because I'm a good barber, it's because I constantly give back to the community. You care about the community, which is which Absolutely. is the thing and this is all about. Talk about some of the things you offer here. Very unusual for a barbershop. And you know what? I'm glad you said that, Mr. Dawson, because my goal is to not make it be unusual for a barbershop. Uh, one of the programs that we offer is uh, a lot of guys, unfortunately, come into the barbershop, they have a felony background. So we got a list right here, and everything is sponsored through the Urban Barber Association, which is a nonprofit. On this list is, is hundreds of jobs, good companies, corporations that hire people with a felony background. Mm -hmm. So we pass this out, and we fund on this not only at Urban Cuts Barbershop, but several barbershops throughout the city. Okay. You know, I think that the barbershop is a, a strategic point of entry into anyone's life. Absolutely. Uh, over here, we got uh, blood pressure. You know, you can come to the barbershop and get your blood pressure taken. Unfortunately, men as a whole, we don't go to the doctor unless something is falling off. So we decided to... Uh, bring the physician straight to him. So it's a partnership with the American Heart Association. Now you have a personal story to tell when it comes to men and getting checkups. Well, yes, absolutely. Uh, many years ago when I first started, I would uh, find that my clientele was starting to disappear. And when I would run into someone, a uh, wife or a daughter at, at the gro neighborhood grocery store, I would ask them what happened to him. And they would tell me that he passed away because, you know, he didn't take his blood pressure medication. Mm -hmm. And I took that personally because, you know, uh, I know that I see these guys at least once or twice a, twice a month. Mm -hmm. And I know that the influence that I have in saying, hey, man, have you been taking your blood pressure? And, I, and at the time and, and still today, you know, I struggle with my weight. I struggle with my blood pressure. So, you know, I also took the initiative to lose 200 pounds yeah. over the last uh, three or four years and get my blood pressure control. So what made you bring it into the barbershop? Well, because again, the barbershop is a strategic point of entry. You know, we go all come to the barbershop and, and laugh mm -hmm. and, and tell and stories. Cry, right, mm -hmm. cry about the Browns mm -hmm. and unfortunately the Cavs now. Mm -hmm. But you know what, I wanted the people to I wanted people to come away with something more tangible, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. So you'll be surprised that, you know, they come in and get their blood pressure checked. Now we're exchanging uh, uh, vegetarian recipes and things wow, of that that's nature good stuff. right inside the barbershop. Yeah. And you also have a, a reading program? Right. Uh, we have a, a reading program. It's called Literacy in the Hood, as, as well as the Barbershop Literacy Project. And uh, the young kids, they come into the barbershop. We got a small library of books mm -hmm. inside the barbershop. Mm -hmm. And uh, they come, they, they read to the kids. When the kids uh, are waiting to get service, uh, they don't tear up our barbershop, number one, mm -hmm. and it promotes child literacy. A lot more than the barbershop. Talk about your commitment, man, and your, your passion for giving back to the community. Uh, again, you know, I've been in business for 10 years now, and what has made me such uh, a success is not the fact that I cut hair good, it's the fact that I give. So I'm, I'm just reaping all of the seeds that I'm continuing to plant in the city. Well, since I am here at Urban Cuts and they do offer blood pressure readings, I figure I might as well make sure I'm okay. Now tell me, what, what, what should I, what, what are the good numbers as far as blood pressure is concerned, Lisa? So when you think about a healthy blood pressure range, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that your blood pressure is at at least one, less than 120 over 80. High blood pressure can lead to stroke or cardiac arrest. What's my blood pressure? 120 over 68. 120 over 68, I'm healthy as a horse, <laughs> that's all I can say. 